channel. So today's video is going to be an update on my cruelty-free transition as well as an explanation of what my goals are for this channel. Now if you're new to my channel, hi I'm Alex and I am Beauty Addict Next Door. Um, that's my name because I'm super addicted to makeup and I just keep buying a ton of products. So um, that is why that name is that and I like to call you guys my beauty addicts. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below so that way you're notified of more of my videos. Also, um, I have a cruelty-free channel, so I will only be buying um, products from brands that are cruelty-free, and I will be showing you those products. Now, as I mentioned to everyone else who's already been following this channel, I am in the transition, so certain like clothing or jewelry I wear may not be cruelty-free, because I'm starting off with my makeup. So um, let's look, get into that. So the first thing, my first step as far as going cruelty-free was clearing out all of my makeup, putting them in boxes, and then just selling them on Poshmark. So if you guys want to buy products off of there, if you're someone who is not going to do the cruelty-free thing, you still wanna buy from brands like Mac and Maybelline, I will. I do have some pro Mac products up there already, and we'll be adding more products soon, but my Poshmark username is Beauty Addict Next, so any X at the end. So I'll show it right here. But I will also be selling other makeup in the future that may be from cruelty free brands that maybe, you know, the color didn't work out for me or that I'm not using that much that I think someone else could benefit from. Um, so also, if you, if you, you know, want to follow me on there a couple of months from now, I'll announce it in a video if I add products on there that aren't, uh, that are cruelty free. Um, but that's kind of like my goal. I want to keep using that because I think it's a really fun app. But yeah, so I, I'm starting off with the makeup. That's the biggest thing. I can't do it all at once. That's just like way too much. So what I've been doing is, you know, the main thing is I didn't want to use makeup anymore from cruelty from brands that aren't cruelty free. So what I did was I put those on the side and like I said, I'm going to sell them. And I'm only using products that are from cruelty free brands like ColourPop, Anastasia, Too Faced, Wet n Wild, NYX, you name it. Um, I've just been using a lot of products from there. If you want to see a bunch of my new products, I will link down below my cruelty free haul. It is a collaboration with Brianna May, so she also um, has a haul up on her channel of all the products that she got. But yeah, so I've only been using those, and that was like my number one thing that I wanted to do because the main thing that I talk about on this channel is makeup. You know, I sometimes talk about, skin, like a rare occasion, I talk about skincare, fashion, or hair, but the main thing that I talk about with you guys is makeup. So that one, for me, it was like I just need to completely stop using um, products from brands that are not cruelty-free. Now, when I first, now when I did the clip decluttering video, I also stopped using my skincare products. But then I realized, like, I don't have money to rebuy everything, and everything that I bought was really expensive. So I have been using them. I mean, you know, the first week I didn't use them at all, but then eventually my skin was freaking out and was just like, take care of me, it's winter, what are you doing? Um, so what I decided to do was continue to use the products, and then I'll stop using them whenever I get new products to come in because I do want to get new skincare products because I do want to be able to share that with you on my channel, but it's not as pressing as makeup is because makeup is, you know, 95% of this channel. Um, but I do want to incorporate more fashion stuff, skincare stuff down the road, but that will be kind of more as I get more of that stuff to come to me just because I want to be able to, to do get ready with me videos where I show you guys my skincare routine in, in the morning at night go over products with you on that. So that will be coming. So that's kind of like my next thing. Like my next um, thing, things that I want to purchase are skincare products. So that's going to be my next goal. But until I get those products, until I can switch them out, then I'm going to continue to use those skincare products until I can get those new products in. And also along with makeup, I've also purchased a lot of makeup brushes because, you know, I wanted to make sure that any brush that I showed in the video was vegan. So all the brushes that I have are vegan. They're synthetic. They have no animal hair in them. Now, as far as hair products, though, a lot of my hair products are from Phil Pelusi, which is um, more of a local hair salon. So they are cruelty-free. So I've been using most of their stuff anyway. And I have some other products that are also cruelty-free. So I've been using that, but there are still some other stuff that I'm using up that's not. Like I have Head & Shoulders. I believe that they aren't. And um, But I have like half a bottle to a quarter of a bottle left. I'm like, I'm not going to sell that. And it's almost done. So it's like, it's something I can use up quickly. So I'm just going to finish stuff like that. I'm going to just finish up like shampoos and stuff, body washes. I'll just finish those up because those are things I go through like that. It's not going to be a very long time until I do a transition that way. And like I said, I don't talk about hair care as much on this channel, but I do want to um, soon. So after I kind of take care of skincare, that's my next goal is to get into the hair products. And then, you know, following that will be like body washes and stuff. Like once I run out of my body washes, I will get into that. Uh, I do have like a huge thing, like a ton of stuff from Bath and Body Works that's like 
lo like a bunch of lotions that there's no way in hell I'm gonna get through that that quickly. So I may give that to friends or something, or maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. Um, but I'll figure that out later. I still I, what I'm focusing on right now is selling the makeup, but we'll, that's something I'm gonna do down the road. And as far as household appliances go. That is like one of my last things that I want to be worrying about just because I have to do a lot more research on that. We have a ton of stuff that we need to use. So I want to use up the stuff that we have. And if I notice that there's anything that we're going to need to repurchase, I'm going to try to look stuff up and see if I can find anything. But that, you know, is lower on my priority list, you know. So things that I'm going to most likely, the more likely that I'm going to mention a product, like a product in a video of mine, that's going to be more high priority over other things. But I will slowly move into that. Another thing is fashion. I don't have any clothes from any brands that I'm aware of that are 100% cruelty free, vegan, whatever. So I have to look more into that. I have been looking into that, but it's just a matter of finding the right place and like, you know, getting it to me. Cause some stuff is like overseas and you know, I kinda wanna get it, go to a place and some of it's expensive too. Like there's certain places that are expensive. So I'm trying to find the best things, the things I need most, which I think the first thing that I'm gonna get are t-shirts because you always see in my videos me wearing a t-shirt. That's like the number one thing. You don't, I'm not gonna worry about pants. I'm not gonna worry about work clothes. Work clothes is gonna be absolutely dead last. Everything else is gonna come before my work clothes. My work clothes are from White House Black Market. They're like really expensive and I'm not sure if they're cruelty free or not, but I don't think that they are. Um, I'm pretty sure nothing that I have is because it's a little bit harder with the fashion. That's the thing too. The fashion is going to be the, I think the most difficult part for me. So that, that will come with time and that's going to be kind of slowly over time. Like I'm going to start trying to get t-shirts now and then um, work my way to, you know, pretty much when I get a shirt, I'll sell a shirt. When I get a pair of pants, I'll sell a pair of pants. And there may be some stuff I can already sell already that I'm not really wearing anyway, but I don't, I can't get rid of everything all at once and then go out and spend like a couple thousand dollars to replace my all of what I own because if you add up everything that you own as far as what you wear it could get super pricey really quick so that will come with time as well so yeah there's just a lot oh there's a lot of big changes and then the last change which is also something that my subscribers and followers have brought up whether it be on YouTube or Instagram um, has been you know whether or not I'm going to go vegan or change to a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet as of right now I am not that is something that I do want to look into though down the road. I just have a lot of health issues and I'm trying to work with dietitians. I'm trying to work with my doctors. I have so many doctors to see what I can eat because I'm, I'm going to, I can do a separate video on this for you guys, but I'm, I've lost a lot of weight the past couple of years. I started off skinny. Um, my health problems have really, really affected me negatively, both emotionally and physically. So I'm not trying to do a brand new diet that's restrictive and you know, if I go on here and say I'm gonna do this, I really wanna be able to feel confident in being able to do it. I um, mean, right now I'm not there right now. I really just need to get my health in order and then maybe down the road I can consider doing that as long as like my doctors approve of it. But I did hear a video from one of my friends, Charlie. She has a YouTube channel as well. I will link it down below, show you her channel name right here. But she just did a video on like uh, five, what was it? five pros and five cons to going vegan and like being on a vegan diet. I found it so helpful and I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know before. And I, um, part of me thinks that, you know, maybe that might be a good diet for me. Maybe that will help with my um, issues, but that's just, you know, I, I'm not gonna rush that. I'm gonna kind of see, or maybe I'll test it out at some point. Cause right now I can't, I, right now in the next two weeks, I can't have any dairy and I have to like minimize meat anyway. I know there's a lot more to it. I don't wanna act like I know what a vegan diet is. I, I only know kind of like the bare minimum but I want to do, I want to look more into a vegan diet. I want to look more into a vegetarian diet, but I'm not, I'm not going to talk, I'm not going to tell you right now that I'm definitely going to go that route ever. Like I, I may go that route, I may not, but it's just something that that's dead last in my priority list as far as my transition goes, just because of my health issues. And because I know that's going to be difficult, especially if you think about going out to eat, um, it, that's, that's going to be something I have to look more into. Now, I also want to look into, um, there's this, Someone, one of my coworkers was telling me about like, you know, there are things that are pasteurized and non-pasteurized and pretty much it's just like how the animals are taken care of, you know, are they, there are a bunch of chickens that are just all like 50 million piled in a very confined space that would be not, that could be considered a place that's, you know, cruelty, there's cruelty there. Um, a cruelty free place would be if they have like a bunch of open space that the chickens are taken care of. So I definitely want to look more into that as well. If I don't do a vegetarian diet and if I don't do um, a vegan diet, I definitely want to at least do that. 
Um, but I will keep you guys posted on it. As I, as I'm gonna, you guys will see, I'm gonna keep you posted on this entire journey. There is a playlist of my cruelty-free transition. So you guys can go check it out if you wanna see more videos on my transition. But I really wanna take you guys through it with me and really show you what my experience is. Any little things that I, I'm working on, doing, my thought process, you know, comments that come up from other people. I really wanna have I don't know if there's a playlist out there. I know that there's a lot of great cruelty-free channels where they kind of bring up different, you know, topics on their channels about being cruelty-free or their hauls or whatever. But I really want to film my experience of my transition and help you guys out in case you are thinking about making the transition, you're in the process of doing it, or you just think find it uh, interesting. So I really want to take you guys through that. All right, so now that I give you guys some updates, I also want to go over my goals for this channel just because I was thinking about it and I just thought it would be something you know, I really want to share with you guys. I really want you to know what I want the channel to be because, you know, if you had asked me a year ago, because my one year anniversary was on the 16th, February 16th, it would be a lot different than it is now, now that I'm cruelty free. There's so many changes that have happened recently. You know, I just transitioned to cruelty free. I hit 1K, my anniversary just happened. There's a lot going on and I'm so glad to have you guys be a part of that. But as for my goals for this channel, um, and it does relate a lot to going cruelty free. Now, I know there are popular um, cruelty-free channels out there. I have absolutely been loving Logical Harmony. Tashina Combs, she actually commented on my cruelty-free haul. So if you're watching this, if you're watching another one of my videos, girl, thank you so much. That made my day because your um, website and then your YouTube channel has been really helping me out a lot. And so you have been my go-to and I've been told so many times that your website and channel are the most trustworthy. So thank you for that. Now, and I know that there are other YouTubers out there too, but I'm really hoping that Tashina and some of the other YouTubers out there who are, you know, cruelty free, I I want us to be the new, the next generation of Kathleen Lights, Jacqueline Hill, Carly Bible, because, you know, that's that generation and they are great. I love Kathleen Lights, I love Jacqueline Hill, but it would be, wouldn't it be great to have someone who's cruelty free or vegan and or vegan you know, be in that, be that high up and have that many subscribers, you know, because it'd be so, it would be refreshing to have like a different mix, you know, that you have plenty of YouTubers out there that are not cruelty free, that are going to show you Mac, that are going to show you all this stuff. But it'd be so great to have someone, you know, up there making a difference, really, you know, being cruelty free. Like, I think that'd be so cool. Um, now I know that there's some people out there who are pretty popular that have like a couple hundred thousand. Um, I don't know if there's anybody who is cruelty free and vegan that has hit a million. If you guys know of a YouTuber that's cruelty free and vegan and has hit a million subscribers, let me know. I would really be interested to see that because I think that together, me and any other YouTuber who are run cruelty free and vegan, I want, I just, I don't know. I really want us to be successful. And I know I'm like a little biased because I know I'm cruelty free, but I just think it'd be a great example to show people that you can go cruelty free, you can be successful and that you can live your life happily. And like the thing is too is I'm wondering if you know have any of the other YouTubers who are really high up have they thought about going cruelty free? Because I, I have a feeling someone's had to say something to them like why aren't you cruelty free or ha, ha, like Jack and Hill's had so many videos where she's gotten so many negative comments. I'm wondering if one of those negative comments to like people being like why aren't you cruelty free? That's totally her. That's totally her decision. If she doesn't want to do that, then that's fine. I totally respect that. But like I wonder if some people on YouTube feel like they can't do that because then there are certain brands that won't look at them and that they, I don't know. Like, and I don't care if those brands don't look me great because I don't want to buy your products anyway. I'm thinking I'm getting a little sidetracked. I just don't want anybody to think that, you know, I'm judging them or anything. I'm totally respectful of everyone's opinions and what they think. I just think it'd be awesome if there were a bunch of cruelty-free YouTubers out there and all of them like were just as big as Kathleen Lights and Carly Bible. Whether it be me or somebody else, I think that'd be really cool. Just because, I mean, I maybe have to do more research. Maybe there are more people that are like, maybe there are people out there that hit a million, but I feel like I've only seen um, people that hit 200,000, which is great. But I would love to see at least one person who's cruelty-free and um, vegan to hit a million, whether it be me or somebody else. My goals for this channel are to have a place that people can go to where they can learn about brands that are cruelty free and vegan that you know I want to I want people to see that they that they can do this you know I, I want people to be like oh, I can't that transition like I can never do that there's not enough brands out there there's not enough you know it's just too hard like I want to be able to show you guys that yeah the transition's hard but I want to show you that there are so many options out there as far as makeup brands goes especially out of any category of beauty 
Makeup brands, there are so many. There's no reason why you have to be filled back into a corner to buy from these other brands. Now, if you want to, go for it. But um, I want to be able to show everybody, essentially, that they can go cruelty-free and be just as happy. So, and the reason why I say that is I pretty much want someone to come on my channel and make it feel like they're watching Kathleen Lights or Jaclyn Hill, except all the products are cruelty free. Like I don't want I don't want anybody to feel like because someone's going cruelty free that they their channel or their lifestyle isn't going to be as fulfilling. I want you guys to know that you will be that you can uh, be just as fulfilled by going cruelty free and vegan if that is your choice. And that is my goal. So I, I I don't know. I just think that'd be awesome. I don't know. I don't know. I'm being so awkward right now. Do you guys get what I'm saying? I feel like I'm being super awkward right now. I just like, I'm trying to get my point across, but I don't know if it's coming across the way that I want it to. I don't know. But if you guys get what I mean, I just, I want to set a, I want to set a good example. I want to be a role model for you guys. I want to, you know, just show people that they can go cruelty free and, you know, be just as successful, be just as happy, be just as fulfilled with their makeup collection, with their their beauty collection, that they can rock, you know, fashionable outfits, that they can you have plenty of options for skincare, hair care. Like, I just want to make it seem, like, I just want you guys to see that you can do it and that you it won't feel like such a huge sacrifice. So that's my goal for this channel is for you guys to come on here and, you know, have that great experience like you do with other YouTubers, but it not be, include anything from brands that are not cruelty free. Yeah. But anyway, that's it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I kind of just want to give you an update on where I'm at in each kind of beauty category and like how I'm handling it. And then I also wanted to like let you guys know what my goals are for this channel, which is pretty much just to be a good role model and show you guys that you can um, live cruelty free happily. So that is my goal. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my cruelty free transition playlist. It'll show you my decluttering video, my announcement video, my video where I go over um, decluttering my makeup brushes. And then also there are other videos that might be posted on my channel where there's like makeup tutorials, hauls and whatnot where you can check out um, stuff that's cruelty free. I went cruelty free I believe as of January 29th, 2016. So as long as you go past that, that date and past, you're good to go. So yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Also for, you know, helping me hit 1K on this channel. I'm at 1100 right now. I'm so excited and there will be a 1K giveaway coming soon. I'm just still in the middle of my anniversary giveaway. So I think I'm gonna wait until that one's over and then I'll do the 1K giveaway. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. It would mean the world for me, uh, world to me. And also if you did like this video, please give it a like and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Um, um, oh, um, oops, it's so good. Nothing on my teeth. Um, to come, um.